welcome back to the fuck did I buy it is hot as fuck in my room yet again welcome back to sweaty summer me and I want to say the fuck did I get I got the Kat Von D shade light palette finally <laughs> finally it's tacked on because I kept lusting over this palette and then never getting it so really quick so you can you've seen the fucking palette before guys and I gotta say first impression these shades are really densely pigmented like when you rub your finger on them a little a smooth clump of pigment comes off with it and you can rub it out onto your onto your arm and it makes a really pigmented swatch which is really cool but it's really weird in terms of like the texture is just really finely milled and smooth so let me grab a brush from back here and obviously the reason I bought this was mostly for that warm quad right here the warm quad is super duper gorgeous but um since I'm a neutralist shade I should be able to wear all the quad quads <laughs> um, I posted a picture on Instagram maybe I'll overlay it right now where I'm wearing both the warm quad on one eye and the cool quad on the other eye to kind of prove to myself hey these are bomb you know but my immediate concern is these giant pans of, um, of shadow that I'm just sitting here like, when am I going to use all of this, these, these base shades? When am I going to use all of this? I can see myself, I'm swatching it as I'm talking, I can see myself like saying, oh, why do you use it? No, 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 right? So you can see this is a swatch of the warm quad on my skin and you can see the shadows are powdery and the pigment doesn't want to stick because it's up and when you do put them on they are powdery like there's powder on my hand which is kind of bad in eyeshadow sense and then if you look at the palette really quick I don't know you probably I don't know if you can see it but there's actually loose powder coming from all the shades blowing into the other ones. I'm gonna do the unhygienic thing now and go. That's unhygienic, but this is my own fucking makeup and I don't give a shit. Obviously, packaging wise, these things slay every day. We already knew this. Um, if I was gonna get one of the quads that just can't, that's more recent and the little cute coffin packaging, since I have this one, this is the closest, the warm quad is very close to the rust quad in that set. But I heard that the plum quad is actually pretty bomb too and the sage not the smoke though because the smoke actually kind of looks like the cool quad right here so I'm just I swatched some of the shades for you guys just so you can see I'm gonna swatch the black because the black was the one I was actually kind of bothered by when I did my looks because the black while intensely richly pigmented I'm gonna use right here Intensely, intensely, densely pigmented, right? As I blend it, it wasn't blending. Like, it seems like it sticks in place. But it is an intensely rich black, which I enjoy because sometimes you get blacks in the palettes that don't. Like, in my chocolate bar, there's a black. Uh, it's probably called Licorice. I have a version that doesn't have uh, shade names, right? So this is the black from the chocolate bar, right? right below it the one from the chocolate bar looks more like a heathered gray instead which I thought was kind of dumb and then I have one more black I have three eyeshadow palettes right now and this one is from my Luxie Beauty giant pa mega palette and I have Luxie Beauty Sinister which is also a black eyeshadow Luxie Beauty Sinister is very quote, cl close, close in quality, but that rich pigment kind of doesn't feather. I guess is the best way to say it. It doesn't feather, kind of stays intense. As I blend it out, it stays intense. Um, the Kat Von D kind of gets smoky at the edges, which both are good. One's good for setting a lid, and one's good for like blending and you know all these different blacks are actually very useful this even the weak ass black in the chocolate bar is really good for 
when you're trying to, especially when you're trying to blend, it was more, looks more like a gray anyway. But, so, closing all these fucking palettes everywhere, all of a sudden now there's palettes everywhere. But yeah, like, I've always loved Kat Von D's makeup. I loved her mattes. I loved the Monarch palette. I just only use like four shades out of it all the time. This, though, I really like. I love how many browns are in it. I will say, though, clean this again, that some of the browns do come off kind of grayish on my skin. This one. So this is the neutral brown from the new, this is the brown from the, one of the browns from the neutral quad. And let me get the other one really quick. Um, by the way, if you own, if you want to own a Veramona color switch, the only thing I have to tell you is that you really want to make sure that you're only using it with your synthetic brushes. Like my 217 from MAC is fucked up because of it. So this is one and this is another. Actually, I should just look up the names because they actually have names. So this would be Solus and Samael. I think that's right. Yep. So Solus and Samael from the Neutral Quad, these two Samael comes off a little gray while Solus is still almost new is pretty neutrally warm, which is really nice. The dark brown that's kind of powdery is Citri, 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 right here in the middle, but it is darker. It's just easy. I guess it's less pigmented, so it's easier to blend, I guess. But a shade that I was just like, Jesus, please give this to me is Succubus because I love reds. So that's really, really, really pretty. The black that I have swatched on is called Shax. Shax? Shax. And that's this black right here. Uh, thanks. If you like this video, you should give a like or leave a comment telling me what you think of this and series and shit like that. You don't have to subscribe. I'm not going to come to your house and swatch black eyeshadows on your face and leave fallout everywhere. I don't have time for that, and neither do you. I just kind of wanted to try a new format where I'm sitting at like, like, you know, like all the other YouTubers where it's like, look at all my stuff. You can't see the actual horrors. You kind of can see the horrors of my room. It's laundry day and I got stuff to put away. But I wanted to do this real quick while there's daylight and it's not that hot. Um, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye.